In this video, I'm going to be doing my first ever video on the Australian version of Dancing with the Stars on my channel. How's it going guys? It's Eric Sharkey, aka Dance with Stars Superfan, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be revealing the Season 18 cast of Dancing with the Stars Australia as well as my predictions on each cast member. It's usually on the Seven Network channel, but the show got cancelled in 2015, but four years later, the show returned in 2019, but in Network 10. But it lasted until last year. But moments later, the show returned to its original channel, Seven Network, which I was really surprised. They are bringing back some familiar faces, like Daryl Somers, who was the first host for seasons 1 through 7, and Sonia Kruger, who co-hosted for seasons 1 through 11, will be returning as well. For their first season back, they will be doing an all-star season like the US version of Dancing with Stars did back in season 15. They added some stars from previous seasons and they also added some new stars as well. So I guess they're putting in a little twist there. So I'm going to be talking about the returning stars first, then the new stars last. And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and smash that like button and also turn on the post notification bell to get you notified by my latest Dancing with the Stars content video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first all-star on the list is season 6 finalist Fifi Box. She is an Australian radio broadcaster, television presenter, as well as an actress. The radio shows that she is best known for are Fifi, Fieve, and Nick on Fox FM Melbourne and Box In with Fifi Box on the Hit Network. I think she will probably last until the middle part of the season, like a couple weeks before the quarterfinals. In her first season when she did season 6, she was partnered with Paul Green and finished second, but this time she will be partnered with Jeremy Gardner. The next all-star on the list is season 14 participant Kylie Clark, who is a former Australian model. She won the Miss Indy in 1999, the Australian Swimmer Model of the Year in 2002, Miss Adrenaline Sports Model of the Year in 2003, Miss Hawaiian Island in 2003, the FHM Miss Snow Bunny in 2003, and Miss Manly Warringah Sea Eagles NRL in 2003. She also represented Australia overseas in the following competitions. Miss Australia in Face of Tourism in 1999 in Singapore. Miss Australia in Miss Queen of the World in 2000 in Germany. Miss Australia in Miss Venus Swimwear Model in 2001 in the USA. When she did season 14, she finished 9th due to a withdrawal because she torn her hamstring. She was partnered with Damian Whitewood who was also a pro on the US version of the show. She started off so well during her first two dances, so I can see her as a contender being in the semi-finals or the finals. This time, she will be partnered with George's husband and season 16 finalist, Gustavo Viglio. The next all-star on the list is season 6 participant, Jamie Derry. He is an Australian horticulturalist and landscape designer, furniture designer, television host, television producer, as well as an author of 11 books on landscape, architecture, garden design, and lifestyle. He is the founder and director of a design company, Patio Landscape Architecture and Dury Design, and also is a 2008 gold medal winner at the Britain's Prejudice Royal Horticultural Society. As of 2018, Dury has hosted more than 50 design shows around the world. When he did his season 6, he was partnered with Amanda Gardner, where he finished 4th. To be honest, I don't see him going that far, but I'm thinking maybe I can see him lasting through somewhere in the first half of the season. This time, he will be partnered with Siobhan Power. The next all-star on the list is season 11 champion Manu Feldel. He is a French-Australian chef, restaurateur, and television presenter trained in England, who is best known as one of the judges of the competitive cooking show My Kitchen Rules. Manu achieved a solid reputation as head chef at the restaurant Bilson's before opening up his own restaurant called Manu at Les Etoiles in 2009, but the restaurant closed in March of 2014. When he won season 11, he was partnered with two-time Dancing with the Stars Australian champion Alana Patience, so I could see him lasting through week 4, 5, or 6. Since he will return to the show as a former champion, this time he will be partnered with Katrina Patchett, which marks her very first season as a pro. She was also part of the French version of the show from winning the very first season, and she has been on the show since the very beginning. Season 11 of their show is coming soon. The next all-star on the list is season 1 champion, Beck Hewitt. Her maiden name was Cartwright until she got married in 2005. She is an Australian actress and singer. From 1998 to 2005, Hewitt played Haley Smith Lawson on the soap opera show Home and Away. 
So she is returning to the ballroom as their first season's champion, so I can either see her as a quarterfinalist or a semifinalist, or if she does better like she did the first season, maybe a finalist. She was partnered with Michael Misner, but now she's going to be partnered with season 7 champion Craig Mundley, who took an 8 season hiatus, but now he's back. The next all-star on the list is season 8 champion Luke Jacobs. He is an Australian actor as well as a television presenter. He would host the Australian version of The X Factor from 2010 to 2015. He also appeared on the TV show Home and Away from seasons 21 through 24 and reprised his role in season 33 as a recurring role. When he won season 8, he was partnered with Luda Croyota, so I can see him as a contender as well. If he does well like he did back in season 8, he will be there. This time, he will be partnered with season 16 champion and Gustavo's wife, Georgia Freeman. The next all-star on the list is season 9 participant, Lincoln Lewis. He is an Australian actor who is best known for his roles in the movie Tomorrow and When the War Began, and also in the television series Home and Away and Slide. Since he did pretty well during his season, I could see him lasting through the semifinals or the finals if he does well, because I felt like he was eliminated too soon on his season. He was partnered with Luda Croyota as well, and now he is going to be partnered with last season's finalist, Lily Cornish. The next all-star on the list is season 12 participant, Erin McNaught. She is an Australian model, actress, presenter, as well as a television personality. She represented Australia at the Miss Universe pageant in 2006. After her participation, McNaught went on to secure more modeling contracts and television jobs. In 2007, she took acting classes and secured a part in the soap opera show, Neighbors. In 2010, she was employed by MTV and fronted their MTV Hits Weekly Hot 30 Countdown show. When she did a season 12, she was the first one eliminated when she was partnered with Gleb Sevchenko, who is a current Dancing with the Stars pro in the USA. I'm thinking she will make it farther past the first half like being the 6th, 7th, or 8th one eliminated. So I'm hoping that she will have some redemption here, so fingers crossed. This time, she will be partnered with Julian Kalen. The next all-star on the list is Season 3 champion Ada Nicodemo. She is an Australian actress. She began her acting career in 1994 in the TV show Heartbreak High. She also starred in Police Rescue and Breakers. In 2000, Nicodemo began playing Leah Patterson in the soap opera show Home and Away, and also hosted the reality series Please Marry My Boy in 2012. I think she will last through the quarterfinals or the semifinals, or if she does well like she did back in season 3, maybe the finals. She will be partnered again with one of the greatest male pros of that series, its two-time Dance with the Stars Australian champion, Arik Yagutkin. And the last all-star cast member on the list is season 2 champion, Tom Williams. He is an Australian television personality as well as a radio presenter. Williams had previously been a co-host of the Daily Edition and a longtime presenter for the 7th Sport team. I can see him lasting through somewhere in the middle part of the season like week 5, 6, or 7, or somewhere around that. At that time when he won season 2, he was partnered with Kim Johnson Herjavec, who is also a two-time Dance with the Stars champion in the USA. Now, he is going to be partnered with Alexandria Vladimirov. So that makes five returning champions, four returning stars, and one returning finalist of that season. So that makes 10 all-stars. And now, moving on to the new stars, which they call them the Wild Card Contestants. The first new cast member on the list is Renee Barge. She is an Australian entertainment reporter who is best known as the host of Channel V Australia. She is currently the weekend co-host and correspondent for Extra in the USA. On January 2020, she became the co-host of The Voice in Australia, alongside Darren McMullen for the series' ninth season. I think I could see her lasting through in the semifinals, or if she does better, maybe the finals. For this season, she will be partnered with last season's champion, Jared Byrne. Now this next cast member will leave you scratching your head and furious about it, and trust me, I felt the same way, is Chappelle Corby. She is an Australian woman who was convicted of smuggling cannabis into Indonesia. She spent nine years in prison on the Indonesian island of Bali in the Kurobikin prison. She was given a 20 year sentence but was paroled in 2014. Since her arrest, Corby has publicly maintained that the drugs were planted in her bodyboard bag and that she did not know about them. Her trial and conviction were a major focus of attention for the Australian media. She also has made an appearance on SAS Australia. 
This casting decision made me scratching my head on that one. Like, to be honest, I never really imagined that they would include a former felony on any type of show like this. I read some articles about it, and every single one of those Australian Dance With Stars fans were not too happy. I don't really understand why they went with this move. I don't know if they're trying to do this for views or whatever. Like, I don't really know. Like, I really don't get it, to be honest with you. I have a feeling nobody's going to vote for her, so she's going to be one of the first ones gone. Whether it's being eliminated first or second. So I'm hoping she's gone first. She's going to be partnered with Shane Mountain. The next cast member on the list is Jessica Gomes. She is an Australian model who appeared in the swimsuit issue of American publication Sports Illustrated every year from 2008 to 2015. She works extensively in Australia and Asia. Gomes was the future spokesperson for the Australian company David Jones Limited from 2013 to December of 2019. She also has competed on Dance with the Stars before, but in South Korea during their very first season where she finished third. So if she does well like she did, I can see her being a finalist. She is going to be partnered with Lau Mazuda, another first time pro making his debut of that series. And last, but certainly not least, Maddie Johnson, who is also known as Maddie J. He first appeared on the second season of The Bachelorette in Australia and became The Bachelor during season 5 where he picked Lauren Byrne as his winner. But two years later, the couple got engaged. As of today, they are still engaged and they have two children together and they are getting married soon. I think I could see him lasting through before the quarterfinals, but we'll just have to wait and see. So Matty J is going to be partnered with Ruby Gearbus, another first season pro. So that makes 14 contestants competing for the Mirror Ball this season. 10 All-Stars, 3 New Stars, and 1 Global All-Star. For me, it's really hard for me to pick on who will be the ones to watch this season, but the All-Stars are going to be the ones to watch this season. But for the New Stars, that are the ones to watch this season are Renee Barge, and Jessica Gomes, or if Maddie J does a little better, he'll be the one to watch. Just the three of them because I can see potential in them. Once I found out that they're doing an all-star season, I kind of figured they are going to include some former contestants from the previous seasons of that show, like we did back in season 15, and not new contestants. But I was really surprised that they added a twist into this season. But with the casting decision on Chappelle Corby, it's probably the worst controversial contestant I have ever seen, and we got people saying that they won't watch it because of her. But we'll see how that pans out. And also stay tuned for the premiere. It's going to be on April 11th. It's not going to be a live show like they usually do. It's going to be a pre-recorded show. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Who are you rooting for? Who are you most excited to see? Your predictions on the cast? And tell me what you guys think of Dancing with the Stars casting Chappelle Corby. I know you guys are not going to like it. But for me, I'm not trying to be negative or mean about it at all. But I'm still kind of uncomfortable with that idea. So anyways... That'll do it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Sharkey, aka Dance with the Star Superfan. Catch you next time.